this Nethysite. You have used it. It was not I who used it. Indeed, I had hoped you could show me how. Thus I've come. Hmm. You do not know the workings of the stone. Then we are no different. What? In ages past, the gods made a gift of Nethysite to my people. But the manner of its use eluded us. Displeased by our failure, the gods took back their stones. They chose instead to give them to a Yum king. Called the Dynast King, he used the Nethysite's power to bring peace to a troubled time. It is a curious thing. Though the blood of King Wraithwall flow through your veins, you cannot wield Nethysite. Cannot wield it? So then, am I to understand you can't tell me how to use the stone? Though it shame me so to admit, here before me stands a descendant of the Dynast King himself, and I can accord her no help at all. Still, even if you knew how to use the Nethysite, you would find it of small avail. The mist collected in the stone over ages past is lost, and with it, the stone's power. It will be your posterity who will the stone in ages yet to come. <sighs> this stone is devoid of power, empty, yet full of thirst, a terrible longing to drink the world dry. The power of men and of magic, of good and of evil. It is often those who desire Nethysite whom the Nethysite itself desires. <sighs> Larsa? To Baromi says. I say we ought leave tomorrow. I was going to wait for my escort to return, but Meeting you here has presented a great opportunity. This terrible war can be stopped, but I will need your help to do so. A war? You know the Marquis Ondor leads a group of insurgents. Your pardon. He leads a large resistance force against the Empire. Lady Ash, neither of our countries can afford this now. The Rosarian Empire would stir. They would aid the resistance and use this aid as a pretext to declare war on Arcadia and Arcadia would have no choice but to answer. Lady Ash, let us go to Bur Omasais. With the blessing of his grace, the Grand Kiltius Anastasis, you may rightly wear your crown and declare the restoration of the Kingdom of Dalmasca. As queen, you can call for peace between the Empire and Dalmasca and stop Marquis Ondor. For peace? How dare you say that? The Empire attacked us, stole all we hold dear, and you would have me save them from war? Dalmasca would be the battlefield. What if Nethysite were used on Rabinasta? You know my brother would do this. <sighs> Forgive me. I presumed over much. I could think of no other way to avoid bloodshed. If you cannot trust me, then please, take me as your hostage. You saw him, didn't you? Like at the King's tomb. So you did see him too, but why? It's strange. Before, I didn't even know what you looked like. And the prince? I barely knew there was a prince. Who knows? 
Maybe the person I saw was my brother. Bosch told me about him. He enlisted right at the end. But for what? He knew he couldn't win. To protect something. How can he protect anything when he's dead? Was it different from Prince Rassler? Did that make sense? Hating the Empire, getting revenge, it's all I ever thought about. But I never did anything about it. I mean, I realized there was nothing I could do. It made me feel hollow, alone. And then I'd miss my brother. I'd say stuff like, I'm gonna be a sky pirate or some other stupid thing. Just anything to keep my mind off it. I was just, I was running away. I needed to get away from his death. That's why I followed you. You know what? I'm through with it. I'm through running. I'm ready to find my purpose. To find some real answers. Some reasons. If I stick with you, I think I will. I wish I knew. I'll find them. I will accompany you to Mount Boromises. I had hoped you'd say yes. I am glad. My heart is not set. I still have questions. I hope to find answers along the way. I had other reason to invite you. There is someone I'd like you to meet waiting on Boromises. Who is that? An enemy. And an ally also. You will just have to wait and see for yourself. That Larsa likes his secrets. He does not mean ill by it. He's not bad. At least for an Imperial. Holy Mount Buromi Seis stands at the northern end of the Yagd Ramuda. Once we're in Yacht, we need not fear pursuit by their airships. Don't get your hopes up. You remember the Leviathan sailed straight over the Yacht Yensa, right up to Raithel's tomb. Skystone that works even in Yacht. You know, Nethersite's behind it. Little wonder they're so keen on the stuff. And what is it you're after, Balthier? You're a welcome hand and a great aid, but why? Worried I'm out to steal the Nethersite, eh? Can't say I'm unaccustomed to people doubting my intentions. Nothing could be further from my mind. Shall I swear by your sword or some such? Apologies. But I needed to know where you stand. Her Majesty depends on you, and you seem to have an interest in the stone. I'm only here to see how the story unfolds. Any self-respecting leading man would do the same. An alliance between Dalmasca and the Empire? Reason tells me tis the only course. We must avoid a wasting war with the Empire at all cost. Yet I fear I could not bear the shame, had I but the strength. A shame perhaps for me and for you. But for Dalmasca, it is hope. And you can just accept this, can you? After Vane's ruse, I had abandoned hope for honor. Yet, never did I forget my nightly vows. If I could protect but one person from war's horror, then I would bear any shame. I would bear it proudly. I could not defend my home. What is shame to me? My people. 
people hate the Empire. They will not accept this. There is hope. Right? Don't encourage Hope for a future where we can join that, hands uh, as brothers. <laughs> Larsa, please. This is serious. Oh, oh I'm, I'm sorry. Don't be Larsa. Somebody's got to put him in his place. The Senate may play at intrigue, but Lord Vane is not one to be brought down easily. The entire military waits upon his orders, from the War Council down to the rank and file. What better blade than he to strike down the enemies of the Empire? Your Honor reminds me of Zet two years since. He too put his trust in Lord Vane's strength, and what became of him? Gone without a trace since Nabodis. I will not hear you malign Judge Sect. He was a noble warrior. Or do you think his trust in Lord Vane ill-placed? Vane took two of his own brother's lives. He is ruthless beyond contempt. Ruthless, you say? Would he were more so? He gives traitors no quarter, be they of his own blood. How fitting for one who would bear the burden of empire. But could we bear him? Zagabath, what of you? Surely you do not believe his brothers were traitors? So found his excellency, Lord Gramis. You would do well to mind your tongue, Drace. That matter is long past. Your honors, a summons. Lord Vane has arrived at the palace. We come at once. Lord Larsa has left for Boromises. He hopes to enlist the aid of the Grand Kiltius in stopping the insurgents. I doubt this will be enough to deter Ondor, but even a slight hindrance to his operations would be welcome. This will delay the Rosarian invasion, and we will have bought much needed time to shore up our defenses. Just as His Excellency had hoped. No matter the result, I'm pleased with the young Lord's progress. I can already see the stunned faces of those mud-witted senators. The fools think a child Emperor's strings easy to pull from the shadows. But they will find that Lord Larsa is no puppet. Yes, the Senators would be most pleased with a puppet for an Emperor. Recall, Drace, how the Senate fears and despises Lord Vane's ability? When they realize the truth, that Lord Lhasa is no docile lamb to be shepherded, they will bare their teeth and devour him. You're right. I shall speak on this matter with His Excellency at once. Gabranth, it falls to us to protect Lord Lhasa. Are we agreed? Aye.
What is it? The jungle denies us our passage. What have we done? We? No. I. 
What's that mean? How are we supposed to get through that? Making an appearance? Come on, I'm talking over here. I thought you'd left for good. Hey! Our choices are few. Friend? Both here! This is as much for you oh. as it is me. Oh? You are ill at ease. The Nethersite troubles you. You've let your eyes betray your heart. Right. What are you doing? <sighs> Soon you will learn. We go to seek aid of the Viera who dwell ahead. I bet they'll be glad to see you after so long. I am unwelcome, an unsought guest in their wood. In the village ahead, you will find her, Mjern. Bring her to me. She will know why you call her.
Hey, Mjern lives here, doesn't she? We're here to see her. You will leave at once. It is not allowed for humans to walk on these grounds. We'll go as soon as we've seen Mjern. If you can find her. We're not leaving until you let us see her. Hmm. Fine then. We'll look for her ourselves. Ah. I've heard the voice of the wood. She says Mjern is not in the village. Jyote, where has she gone? Why do you ask? The wood tells us where she has gone. Or can you not hear her? You cannot. Your ears are dull from hearing their harsh speech, I think. Viera, who have abandoned the wood, are Viera no longer. Mjörn, too, has left her embrace. And you forsake them in turn? It is the will of the village. Viera must live always with the wood. So is the green word, and so is our law. We'll let you worry about keeping your laws. Just do us a favor and stay out of our way. We'll find her ourselves. Our sister has left the wood and gone west. She wanders warrens among men who hide themselves in clothes of cold iron. Thus to me has the wood spoken. The Viera may begin as part of the wood, but the wood is not the only end we may choose. The same words I heard fifty years ago. Not bad, Vaughn. Didn't think we'd get any information out of that one. So then, what was she saying about men in a warren? The Henomagicite mines. Maybe that's what she meant. They lie in Bangor, south of the Osmoan Plain. The entire region is a colony of the Arcadian Empire. There would be soldiers. Is that a problem? Let's move. Fran. Yes? I was wondering... What Yote said, you know? About how you said the same thing 50 years ago? Your point? Uh, how old were you again? Ah, uh, nice fun. Oh, surprisingly rude. Try to grow up, please. 